What's up, legends? It's your girl Lynn here, and I'm here with another vlog, which I have not done in a while, but you know, I'm back and I'm better. Sorry, it's like slight flex but anyway i'm about to show you my past three months roll that beautiful bean footage But for context, I was a video content intern with the Baltimore Orioles this summer where I got to do amazing things and projects like these that you just saw. And I got to edit videos, go to the field, go to Camden Yards and shoot some games, get some footage, add to my reel and get experience. This whole opportunity has been honestly a blessing. I've learned so much, not just in terms of shooting but being a better editor and just being a videographer in this business especially as a black female got a lot of advice and some very helpful life lessons i honestly had the best crew for my first pro experience thank you so much tony for this amazing opportunity and for all of your mentorship all the advice that you gave me thank you so much johnny for letting me oversee your creative process that has been so helpful and thank you, Will, for being my buddy while we shot games <laughs> and for keeping me and my content updated for my portfolio. That was a big help. So let's get into the questions that you will ask me from my Instagram story. First up, we have, how did you learn to edit? So I've always edited my own videos, starting with iMovie way back in the day when I was using YouTube just as a platform to like upload my song covers. Then I started doing a lot more content creation in high school on the sports side where I was doing interviews and game recaps where I got to do that for my high school teams. So that's when uh, things really started to kick into gear. I was still using iMovie and then I transitioned into using Premiere Pro once I got to college, since they have Gillardin with all the Mac desktops, which has been one of the main reasons why I love going to Lao. <laughs> Second question, was my internship paid? No, it was not. Do you prefer pros or collegiate level? This is a tough question because doing content for a pro team was such an amazing experience and I just love doing a new sport. I had never done baseball before. So cha challenging myself as a videographer was tough, but 
it helped me grow. I mean, challenges are important for growth and I definitely think I made the most out of a new experience. So back to the question. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. I love doing both and having the Georgetown Athletics internship and this pro internship simultaneously, it's helped me to see a lot of differences, but I've honestly enjoyed doing video content for both. Favorite sport to film? So I have filmed soccer, basketball, lacrosse, and now baseball. Wow. There's still so many other sports that I want to shoot, but just from the sports that I have shot so far, again, like shooting a new sport has been a challenge as a videographer, as a shooter and an editor, but I just love having those sports under my belt. And I don't just do sports. I've done events, uh, dance promos, music videos. So I'm pretty much open to doing any kind of video projects. And in terms of choosing a sport, I honestly don't have a favorite sport. I just love getting a variety of content from workouts to actual highlight reels, player features, holiday <laughs> theme features. So I couldn't tell you. Do you meet a lot of athletes and do you date them? So just because of the nature of my internships, I meet a lot of athletes, of course, and being a student, I meet a lot of student athletes, but I like to keep my professional life and my personal life separated. And that's that on that. <laughs> so that is all the time we have for this video, but thank you all so much for rocking with me, for supporting me, being with me throughout this whole journey. It's been incredible to have the support of an army. So thank you to all of you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in my next video.